guys. Uh, we're back on a vlog. You know, it's been, what, a couple weeks now? So, a little bit back to back, but we're actually doing something this time other than just, you know, going to see Christine or going to Hilbert or something other than that. So, this time we're actually going to the skate room because Chris, you know, big talk one about, you know, stealing that kind of guy. He is actually going to Texas. He got a job out there. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're just getting together a little bit. Uh, I couldn't make it to some other ones that uh, everybody else is having. But, uh, yeah, so this one I'm actually off of work for once for two days in a row. So we're going out. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We're not tonight to an escape room in Buffalo. Uh, guys are coming by in a little bit to come pick me up. Uh, then we're going to eat. It's about 5.30-ish right now. Um, yeah, I think escape room is like at 8. They haven't told me anything about it. They're, like, holding a big secret. So, yeah, hopefully it's not scary because I am not scary, but I am decked out in my Fortnite Balenciaga, you know, $800 uh, hoodie here. So, you know, I look fashionable. Um, I do get my, where is it, my hat. We all know this hat right here. If I grab it, this one right here, the one with the light on it. So, if it gets dark in there, I got a light. Now I need to, and I get my hands all free. So, that's basically it. Um yeah here's my room again you know the usual uh bed's a little mess right now because like all my homework is on that side so yeah i've been cranking out homework finally got a week off of school but still a lot of homework to do um that's my fortnite corner over there i got a lot of fortnite stuff uh llama ornament fortnite monopoly collector's edition that just came out um a bunch of like fortnite books and lore books so that tells a story and whatnot of what's going on um yeah so well get on the topic of fortnite a little bit um the chapter two is coming to an end so uh on what saturday december 4th i will be posting a video about the end of chapter two so i did request off of work hopefully i get it off so i can actually see the event and all that but other than that, um, I got Christine's Christmas presents literally right below me. So I cannot share what is below because, you know, if she watches, then she'll see what she got. But there's a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, hopefully she likes it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I did get Game Fuel mousepad for free. Um. Also got some trading cards as well. I mean, you can grab those real quick while we're still doing intro waiting for them. Uh, my Courage can right here. Signed by Courage. You know, there it is. Right there. Uh, well, it's gone forever. But, got my sick trading cards out as well. There they are. Um... Yeah, I don't know really what the rarities are. There are three stars on the two Courage ones. Oh, I think those are like the the most rare ones, I guess. I don't really know how to say that, but yeah. So oh, there they are right there. Um, really, you know, they're really limited because like they sold out in like a week, nearly sold out. But if you bought a Game Fuel pack, you got the trading cards with it, and they sold out really quick. Um, but yeah. So other than that. That's about it for the intro. Uh, long intro today, uh, but you know, probably not any of that music stuff like usual. So I'll catch you back up when we're in the car with the guys, and I'll see you later. All right, guys, we're back. Aaron, say hi. Hi. Chris? Hey. All right. So we're just waiting on Brent, as usual, to uh, get us back. Yo, what's well, a big truck over there? But still trying to find a place to eat. Um, still don't know what we're doing. Still haven't told me yet. Where I going? Yeah, but they're not going until we actually, you know, get in there and I got to find out myself. But we're just waiting right now. Fun stuff. We got some decorations still up over there. So, yeah. This is uh, Aaron's gummy worm mobile. Yes. Uh, you can see the gummy worms up there. Chris put them there for decoration, of course. Festive. Uh, mm hmm. Getting the holiday spirit early. But when we catch up with Brent and find out where we're going, we'll get back to you. All right, we are uh, at Tully's now. The BG is finally here. 
and it took about two years. But we got about you know, like a couple minute wait, and then we'll be seated. Well, well, I found out what we're doing. It's like a, uh, a horror themed one. Uh, we gotta try and survive, I guess. Tell them. Uh, it's, going, it's called like the Bone Collector or something. So yeah, another one that they did was called the Hangover. And uh, Chris there got Chris there got uh, handcuffed and stuff, and they had to go and find him sometime. So yeah, so looking forward to it. So, I hate horror stuff. Everybody knows that. But yeah, so we're just gonna get some food here. Say hi. Hey. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. We're just waiting for the seat. Get some food. I guess the tenders are not as good as they used to be. Someone said. So yeah. But we'll get back to you. All right. We just got uh, tollies. Uh, food took about you know 45 minutes to get here, so we're running a little late. So we said fuck the food, and we got zebra cakes, bro. Zebra cakes are the best. Nah. We didn't. We actually, you know, got some food. Here's my. Oh shoot, we're turning Asian tenders right here. First time we get Asian tenders, so you know, tasted pretty good, but came in ranch. Um, run away about you know, 10, 15 minutes out. Oh, uh, this is gonna be fun. So there it does involve crawling, and since Chris is you know almost seven feet tall, crawling is not an option for him. He's just gonna bust through the wall like Kool Aid Man. But I can feel it already coming back up. Not feeling that good. <sighs> but, don't know if I can record in there. We'll see. Hopefully we can get some cool footage. Don't know what else it entails. So, we'll see uh, there. Alright guys. Uh, we got out of the body collector's escape room. We could not bring anything in. So we had to keep all our stuff in the locker. I also did not use my light hat because you know that kind of be cheating because it's kind of dark in there. But there was a few lights. Would have been useful for the last step. No, it would have been definitely useful for the last step because the people before us broke part of the uh, room, so they had to manually do it whenever we were at that step. And because it was manual and not us doing it ourselves, there wasn't like a door that had a light that opened the light. So, yeah, we were kind of just there for about two or three minutes, just looking around, trying to find something. Oh, but we ended up getting it. It was shorter than what we thought, and it only took us, what, like 40-something minutes to do. Without that last part that they kind of screwed us in because it was broken, we would have had it probably in 40 to 42 minutes. Yeah, it was... It was definitely sound, but there was a couple points where uh, it was loud. I hate loud things. Everybody knows that. And Aaron was Aaron was strapped to a chair right at the beginning. Couldn't see a single thing. So like, you know, imagine you're on an electric chair. That's what Aaron was on, and he had to uh, like put some. We had to find clues to uh, put some stuff in some places that I can't mention because I don't know who's watching. And, uh, yeah, get the right code to unlock Aaron so that he could let us in and escape. So, the clues definitely helped us out. Especially at the end, when we had no clue what to do. Uh, but, and yeah, we got out of there with about 16 minutes of spare, so we all lived. Thankfully, uh, the guys are saying that the Hangover one was a lot better. Uh, this is my first one ever, so you know it can only go up from here. There is another one about going over the falls where you're on a boat and you gotta try to escape before you go over the falls. But can't do that one. So, and that's about it. Chris, you got anything? That's all I got to say about that. Alright, Aaron? Huh? Alright. Huh? Oh. Yeah. We'll uh, see you guys in the next vlog. I don't know when that'll be, because nothing really happening much. So, I'll see you later.